Monday, Monday, Monday. So enjoying life in all its glory is not just about enjoying new experiences, which I absolutely love doing. It's also about going back revisiting old experiences. And that's exactly what I decided to do on Monday when I went for Paco Rabanne's 1 million, the original, the EDT, oh my, oh my. This is one fragrance that really showed me the power of a fragrance. Uh, I've had some insane compliments and, re and reactions while I've had this one on. Uh, but then every single man on planet Earth decided to buy it and make it their signature scent. And that's pretty much when I decided to abandon it. I overdosed on it and I got quite tired of it and I didn't want to use the same kind of fragrance that everyone else used. And nowadays I tend to go for a Privé and Parfum uh, when it comes to the Paco Rabanne 1 million collection. I absolutely love both of those. But it's fun that whenever I pull this one out nowadays, which is quite rare, I end up getting a compliment. So this one, despite its age, still delivers when it comes to compliments and reactions. So yeah, this was a, a trip down memory lane and I enjoyed using this one on Monday. So on Tuesday, I craved a dose of leather and if you are following me, which you are, right? Uh, come on, hit that subscribe and that notification bell right now. Then you know that I absolutely love the scent of leather and I decided to go with Rasasi's La Yucca Van Pur Om. So this one to me is a scent that is primarily focused on leather, backed up by woody notes and amber with saffron and raspberry on top. So think of a leathery focused fragrance with a woody side and a sweet fruity side. Uh, this is really close to a Tuscan leather from Tom Ford, the iconic leather fragrance, but it feels a bit different thanks to that sort of a sweet side. I just love putting this one on and usually whenever I put it on, I get a ton of attention. Highly recommend it if you enjoy the scent of leather. So on Wednesday, I wanted something that would be mass appealing, something that most people around me would absolutely fall in love with. And I decided to go with Armani Code Absolute. So this to me is a sweet and powdery vanilla uh, with amber and a hint of suede. So you have a big dose of powdery sweetness, but with a hint of suede, that sort of makes it a bit more, it prevents it from going overboard with the sweetness, even though it's quite sweet. This to me is really, really sweet in a really, really smooth way. I absolutely love that powdery sweetness together with the suede. It's so good. Uh, some guys have an issue with the sweetness of this fragrance, but I don't. Uh, this to me is so damn good. And most, at least women, absolutely go bananas over this one. I can highly recommend you Armani Code Absolute. So Thursday, my scent of the day, Dior Sauvage Elixir. Oh my, oh my. Uh, this is one that I've been addicted to from the first sniff. Uh, so I absolutely adore the opening with the spice mix together with the grapefruit, but the dry down with that sandalwood, the lavender and that licorice, oh, it's so good. Uh, this is a modern attention grabber, but it has a vibe of something that is sort of old school, at least to my nose. Um, if you are looking for a fantastic masculine fragrance that will get you attention and that I think smells absolutely fantastic, then make sure you get your nose on Sauvage Elixir. My scent of the evening was yet another one from Dior and yet another one uh, from the Sauvage collection. And this is Sauvage Parfum. So this one to me is sandalwood. So it retains some parts of the original, but this is sandalwood together with tonka and vanilla. So this one is a bit more sweet and less sort of in your face and less sort of harsh than the original. Both of these are really, really good, even though I uh, this is like my favorite 
uh, and this is going to be one of the best releases of 2021. Uh, but uh, yeah, I can highly recommend either of these, but I lean a bit more toward this one. So on Friday, my craving for the scent of leather got even stronger and stronger and I could not resist. So I had to get yet another dose of leather and I decided to go with Dunhill Agarwood from their signature collection. So this is going to end up on my uh, best of 2021 top list, which is going to be released in um, December. Uh, but this one is such a beautiful, creamy, smooth, classy and elegant leather first fragrance, despite the name. Yes, the name is Agarwood, but this one to me is a leather first fragrance. But I wanted to spice things up a bit. Even though this is so beautiful on its own, I've been using it a lot lately. So I wanted to spice things up and I decided to do that by layering it with Gucci Guilty Absolute. So this is a unique leather. This one to me is focused on leather backed up by wooden notes and vetiver. And that vetiver in this one really creates a unique blend. This one to me is really, really unique in a really, really beautiful way. So yeah, on Friday I ended up layering Dunhill's Agarwood and, and uh, Gucci Guilty Absolute. This combination landed me two compliments. It was a fantastic perfume layering combination that I highly recommend if you own them both. If you want a super classy and elegant fragrance that is sort of a focusing on the scent of leather that is super smooth, mass appealing, then I can highly recommend you this one. I fell in love with this one. If you are looking for a truly unique kind of leather, and if you absolutely love the scent of leather, then at least make sure you try Gucci Guilty Absolute. So Saturday, that was yesterday, I wanted a sexy dose of sweetness with something exciting, and I decided to go with Guerlain's Shalimar, Millicim, Vanilla, Planifolia, and this one, oh my, by the way, what a long name. Come on, Guerlain, you can do better than that. Uh, but oh my, this is such a good scent. So this one to me is a sweet and powdery vanilla. The vanilla is quite complex and beautiful. It has a dose of spices and it has a dirty and sexy leather that comes in in the, in the dry down. So good. This to me is a beautiful, dirty and sexy kind of vanilla that smells amazing. But I did not stop there. Oh no, I decided to layer it with this one right here. So this is La Vie et Belle, Eau de Parfum Blanche, which is a musky and powdery white floral that smells amazing. This combination and this is according to other people. I just thought that this combination smelled amazing. Uh, but this combination, according to other people, was quite a unique one and it landed me compliments. Highly recommend it. I think both of these are fantastic on women. I think both of these are fantastic on men as well. If you love vanilla, then you owe it to yourself to check this one out. It's so damn good. So it's sweet but a bit dirty and sexy. Uh, and this is just a beautiful, powdery, musky, white floral. Oh my, I really love both of these. So today it's Sunday. Yesterday I did a fragrance haul live. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for all of you who joined us. Uh, and one of the fragrances that I unboxed was this one, and this is Dangerous Me from Paco Rabanne, and this one belongs to the Paco collection, which I think is pretty damn awesome. This is a sweet and witty uh, vanilla with ginger and spices, and it's so addictive, it's so seductive, it's seriously sexy, and I just love this one. I fell in love with it, Sandra Salomon Fragrance fell in love with it as well, uh, and I'll be having this one on uh, today. And yeah, I don't care if it sounds kinky or weird, but I'll be sniffing myself all throughout the day uh, when I have this one on. Enough said. So today I'll be sniffing myself and I'll also be enjoying all of these sweets. Oh, oh my, I have a sweet tooth. 
I'm going to regret eating all of these tomorrow, but yeah, tomorrow is another day. Uh, thanks for all the love, guys. I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, then I would highly appreciate if you would like it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And please do make sure that you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye.